Hi, Jay and Hector. I'm so excited to have you here at Gala. I'm Guadalupe, Paso Nuevo's director. And I'm happy to have you here um, because we're honoring you as our Noche de Estrellas honoree. So how long have you been involved with Gala? Uh, well, I think we got involved with Gala close to 40 years ago. Exactly, wow. when we first came to Washington. Right, oh, wow. and we were invited to see a show here called Miss Margarita's Way. Yeah. And it was actually in the basement of Uma and Rebecca's house. Actually, it was better than the show that I had seen on Broadway for the same show. And it was done by a really big actress, so I was really very impressed with it. We That's thought amazing. it was fantastic. So we've gone from the basement yeah. to the church to 7th Street to the theater. And uh, we have been involved in when the theater opened, um, or that they got the Tivoli Theater. Uh, we did a lot of lobbying on Jim Graham to make sure yeah. that the theater would go to Gala because you know it was a community component to this overall. It was a very, ex you know, rather extensive ca capital campaign because literally when we walked into the theater, this was one huge empty building. With a, with a huge chandelier in the middle of the floor and nothing else. It, it was kind of remarkable to see this, what this has become. And you know, yeah. so it's wonderful. What do you feel is attractive about Gala? Oh my gosh, well, Gala's unique. Yeah, it's unique. It, it's singular in its yeah. sense, you know, from a vantage point that it is the cultural center mm -hmm. for Latinos and Hispanics in Washington, D.C. There is no other place to go. It's a sort of like the gathering place for culture. Yeah. Um, there aren't too many places where you could actually see new works, uh, fantastic theater, beautiful productions, just like the one that we currently have, mm -hmm. uh, that that bring people into another world all of a sudden. And, you, and, and by the way, we're seeing some extraordinary work, not only in the recent years, but this is nothing new. We've been doing extraordinary work at Gallup for years and years mm -hmm. and years. And it's very satisfying to see that that tradition has been maintained. And Hugo and Rebecca, you know, as they say, they're the ones who make, the, you know, tripas de, hacen corazones de tripas. Yeah. <laughs> because with, with the funding that is so crucially needed for this theater, it's amazing how much they do really with good. so little. And I, and I can see the, the work that they've had year after year in being able to raise funds so that the, 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 the theater stays alive and also for the programs that mm -hmm. you currently mm -hmm. had, which is literally one of the highlights of Gala Theater's uh, community work. Yeah. Uh, but even, for example, the other Reyes, all those activities that are meant for the community are so embracing and it gives all these children and youth the opportunity to see the alternate world in the arts. What values do you think the theater and patrons and donors are protecting when they protect the value of Gala and the viability of Gala? Wow, that's a big question. Yeah. Uh, First of all, you're respecting uh, the work of the founders. Second of all, you're ensuring that the only Latino theater in Washington, D.C. continues. So it's here beyond Rebecca and beyond Uko and beyond all of us. Yeah. Um, and, and third, you know, it is a monument to people's hard work. And uh, just as the T Tivoli Theater was here and it's a historic theater, you know, it's Gala, right because of Gala. Gala one day will become yeah. a historic theater here, and hopefully we'll be here for a few years from now. What do you think, or what do you dream for Gala's future? Right. Well, yeah, I, I dream of a future where it, it is not a, such an economic struggle for us to be able to put out these programs, where we don't have to literally beg every year for, for people to support and fund. There is so much merit to what Gala does for the community, for the arts, that it shouldn't be put into a position when the arts really become a necessity rather than luxury. Because, you know, frankly, theater is not a luxury. Theater is a necessity yeah. for expressing your culture, expressing yourself, telling your narrative. So I think we need to learn that. And I think that that's the most important message. Um, why should people come to Noche de Estrellas and have fun, but also participate? Uh, philanthropically in the event? <clears throat> More importantly to me is the philanthropic portion. Supporting uh, an institution that has to be here for the next 50 years. Uh, an institution that earns every single penny that you actually give it and then some. Um, 
because it, it, it is such a responsible organization. You know, I had, I was one time the uh, board member, but I was also treasurer. And I saw, and I saw over the years, the responsibility on how we spend every dollar um, and, 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 and how we equate that to how we serve the community. Uh, that's important, that's very valuable. The return and investment that this theater gives to the community is worth every single hundred dollar, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars that anyone could give in this theater. And I really encourage them to put their hearts out and support the theater. The key is to show the support, the respect, and to honor what has been created here. We can give awards and recognitions to people, and that's secondary. Totally. Because the bigger picture is the theater. Yeah. You know, you choose to honor certain people and we're honored that you're, you've chosen us. Humble. But yeah, yeah, but that's secondary. The bigger picture is come support and talk and talk the, of the program and talk about the theater and ensure that every one of your friends on Facebook or whichever way you want to do it knows about the theater, knows that it's here and that can, it can only survive with that level of participation and that level of honoring by walking through the doors, these glass doors that we have yeah. right in front of us. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for all you do. We thank you for allowing us this, this uh, great privilege. privilege and honor. And we thank you and, you know, we will continue to support. Thank uh, you. Rebecca and Hugo and everybody who's involved.